<laughs> ben, that was a great thing to do for a change. I haven't been ice skating in years. Hey, yeah, well, you could have fooled me. I thought you'd never been ice skating. <laughs> <laughs> we have to be two of the worst ice skaters I've ever seen. But it was fun. Absolutely. Want to do it again? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> You want to come in? No, no, I don't want to wake up the baby. He's at my mom's tonight. Oh, great, great, yeah. Bet you're looking forward to a good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah. Um, you sure you don't want to come in? I've got a great bottle of Merlot breathing. That's nothing. I got a bottle of Chardonnay at my house playing the piano. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I, uh, I better get going. I mean, I got an early morning meeting tomorrow, and I want to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Yeah, sure. I, I understand. Yeah. yeah. Well, good night. Good night. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. <laughs> actually use the words bright-eyed and bushy-tailed? <laughs> what are you, the Easter Bunny? <laughs> you know, actually, I thought about knocking on her door, but at that point, I didn't feel like I deserved to be in it. I can't believe that you were this close to being with Kara. You know, in golf, that is considered a gimme. You were always a wonderful golfer, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. A great short game. <laughs> well, you know, just because Kira invited me in doesn't mean that was an invitation to sex. <laughs> and frankly, I resent you using this in reference to me. <laughs> now, can we please talk about something else? How about we talk about the Chicago Urban League Awards Banquet? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, you know, Ben, We've been volunteering down there for the past 10 years, and this is the first time that one of us actually might win. I'm sick of doing charity work for nothing. Where's the reward? Sex is a reward. You can't put sex on the mantle. Well, you can if you do it right. You know, I can't believe that this intelligent, warm, compassionate, fine-looking woman wanted me, and I passed. Ben. Honey, don't beat yourself up about this. It has been two years since Sarah. Mm. You know, maybe you're just not ready yet. <laughs> Come on, Nicole. He's a guy. He's always ready. He's ready. Carl's ready. I'm ready. We're all ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe you're right, Nicole. I mean, maybe I'm just nervous about being intimate with a woman after such a long time. Right. Ben, my friend, you will be fine. It is like riding a bike. Hey, you remember that, Nicole? <laughs> it's nothing sacred to you. <laughs> Hey, man. How was school? Oh, man, it was the bomb. I was in the cafeteria having lunch with Monica, you know, the girl I've been hanging with. And right after she left, Leslie Stallworth came over and told me she likes me. Man, it was like a dream. <laughs> you know what I dream about? That one day you'll come home from school and tell me you actually learned something. Hey, man, I did learn something. You can actually date two girls at once. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, well, a good rule of thumb, you can until they catch you. I mean, that is not like Monica's my girlfriend. So what's wrong if I hang with Leslie, too? And you probably think it sounds disrespectful, but see, here's the deal. I respect them both. <laughs> yeah, well, if you put half as much energy into juggling these girls as you did that speech, you may actually pull this off. Hey, Dad, I got quiet. I can see Leslie on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays because Monica has children in practice. And on Tuesday and Thursdays, Leslie's got French club. And I'll keep weekends loose to whoever gets to me first. Yeah, well, even God took one day off to rest. Well, he didn't have this winning smile. You know, as your father, this is where I might try to step in and stop this runaway train. Uh, but since you made that crack about God, I got a feeling he's going to take care of you all by himself. <laughs> I 
can't believe we actually managed to find something we do worse than skating, racquetball. <laughs> we have to be the first people in the history of the sport to lose the ball. I have a confession. What? Ah. <laughs> I just wanted it to stop, Ben. <laughs> Well, I'm sure eventually we'll find something we're good at. Well, I, I have some thoughts on that. <laughs> Maybe I better work on that. Oh, I'm so sorry. I guess I'm just a little more tired than I thought. Uh, uh, why don't you come in and uh, sit on the couch? Put your feet up. Uh, Maddie's staying at a friend's house. Well, I better go. I have a breakfast with a client tomorrow, and... Well, I want to be fresh as a daisy. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I understand. It's just as well anyway. My place is a mess. <laughs> well, good night. Good night. Good night. Fresh as a daisy? <laughs> Fresh as a daisy? <laughs> what is she, the Easter bunny? <laughs> that bunny had flowers in his basket. Yeah, I'm not wrong about that. So, anyway, now I'm thinking either Kira rejected me for rejecting her or she wasn't interested in me in the first place. Although, I'm sure she was. You know, I don't know. At this point, I don't know what to think. You're the expert. What do you think? Check out that bunny, because that bunny had a whole basket full of flowers. <laughs> In fact, I don't even know where that whole egg business got started. Hey, man. Hey, hey man. Hey. What you doing here? I just thought I'd stop by. Okay, things started to get a little heated because Monica's cheerleading practice got canceled on a Leslie day. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Trouble on Fantasy Island tattoo? <laughs> wow. Looks like someone has a secret admirer. Well, somebody died. <laughs> In which case, I'm gonna feel really silly about that secret admirer crack. <laughs> you can hide out with me. Thanks, Alex. Ben, uh, I wanted to talk to you about last night. I got the feeling that you were giving me signals that you wanted to be with me. Oh, huh. You picked up on that, huh? Yeah, and all day I was afraid that now you must think because I needed to get home that I was rejecting you. See, and I was afraid that you rejected me because I rejected you the other night. Actually, I just thought you were too chicken to come in. <laughs> you picked up on that too, huh? <laughs> well, can you tell what I'm thinking now? I have a pretty good idea. Your place? The baby. Hmm. Your place? My baby. Would you like to come in? Ooh, baby. <laughs> Top of the morning, Alex. Uh, so you had sex last night. <laughs> How'd you know that? And there's only two types of people who say top of the morning. Leprechauns and guys who just had sex last night. Okay, you caught me. I'm a leprechaun. <laughs> ah, but you're a lucky bastard, Ben Steve. <laughs> so tell me what happened. Don't leave out a thing. Where'd you do it, huh? Her place? Your place? First of all, we didn't do it. We made love. Here. You did it here. <laughs> I gotta sit down. <laughs> oh, here! <laughs> Wait a minute, why should that bother me? I've done it a bunch of times on that couch. Oh, man, you did it! <laughs> morning, guys. Hey! Top of the morning, Nicole. Well, mazel tov, you lucky bastard. <laughs> I am so happy for you, Ben. Mm, this is the most exciting part of a relationship because, you, you know, you never forget the first time. 
We hope you enjoy your visit to Chicago's Shed Aquarium. And please remember, no pressing up against the glass. <laughs> now, can you imagine how frightened those fish were? I mean, that glass magnifies everything. <laughs> and if it were true, you'd be a lucky bastard. <laughs> Hello, Love Shack. Oh, hi, Kira. <laughs> it's Kira, and she is not at all mad that I just said that. Hi, hi. Yeah, I'm, I'm great. I'm great. Uh, so, uh, we still on for tonight? I was thinking uh, the aquarium. Oh. Oh, no, no, I, I understand. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll call you tomorrow. Bye. <clears throat> yeah, she has a friend visiting from college. She's gonna take her to the Sears Tower. The, the Sears, Sears Tower. Tower. <laughs> you know, you two, is there any place you two haven't done it? I mean, I, I might as well give you the keys to my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it, I'm moving. <laughs> no, see, Monica, I can't go to the library with you on Thursday. Why? Uh, because I have this throat thing. Yeah, yeah. But it'll be better on Wednesday and Friday. Could you hold? I'm on another call. Hey, Leslie. You don't mind holding another minute, do you, baby? Uh, don't tie up the line. Your conscience might be trying to call you. Hey, listen, Monica, I gotta go. Uh, my voice? Oh, it comes and goes. I gotta go. Trouble at the Playboy Mansion? Hef. Man, Dad, it's a nightmare. I mean, I can't remember where I'm supposed to be or who I'm supposed to meet there. And I gotta remember to call them by their right name. Yeah, those girls, they're real touchy about that name thing. <laughs> My recommendation, level with them. Come on, Dad, I'm in junior high. I went levels with each other to high school. <laughs> oh, man, I forgot about Leslie. Hey, Leslie, you know, every moment you were waiting, I was thinking of you. And now, modeling the latest in Italian formal wear, the soon-to-be recipient of the Urban League Service Award. Give it up for Mr. Carl Stevenson! Hey, boom, boom, doom, 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 boom, doom, 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 boom, doom, 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 boom, doom, doom, shake that money, make up! Getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you, Carl? Uh, nah, brother, it's a lock. Yeah. You know what I found out today? We are sitting at table one. Table one, Ben, commonly known as the winner's circle. <laughs> hey, man, I thought you should be going by now. You had a date with Kira tonight, right? Uh, yeah, her babysitter got sick at the last minute. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh... You know, I know it's the third time she's canceled on me this week, but uh, it doesn't mean anything. No, 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 it doesn't. No, with two single parents, jobs, very busy lives. I had to cancel on her once, too. Hey, I understand, brother. Carl, what are you trying to say? <laughs> that she is avoiding me? That she's making excuses? That we haven't seen each other because maybe the sex wasn't as good for her as I thought? Hold it. Don't open that door. It's dark and scary in there. <laughs> hey, Dad, I forgot to tell you. Between talking to Monica and Leslie, Kara called. Don't tell me. You're going out with her on Friday. <laughs> well, to be honest, I'm not sure. Hey, but she said to tell you she's taking her own car to the ward banquet tomorrow night, and she's going to meet you there. Ah, uh, now, Ben, I know what you're thinking. She's planning on taking her car there so she can make that quick getaway once she dumps you. <laughs> oh, no, you weren't thinking that? I'm sorry, I got to hit myself. <laughs> Look, Brad, just remember, you know, no matter what happens, tomorrow night is our night. We're sitting at table number one. You know, we are winners. Yeah. We are winners. Yes. <laughs> what a couple of losers. There's got to be a mistake here. This can't be table number one. We're supposed to be up front. We're supposed to be up front. <laughs> Here's a half hour late. Probably wants to look her best. Uh, Spending a little extra time in front of the mirror practicing her dump me speech. I just can't believe they started numbering from back here. What kind of bass aqua system is that? Oh, well, right in front of the kitchen. I'm not here to get a free saucepan, babe. Carl, it's not important whether you win. What's important is having the inner satisfaction of knowing you've done good work. Unlike myself, who obviously hasn't satisfied anyone. Just because we're at this table doesn't mean you've lost. Maybe they just want to give you space to make a dramatic cross to the stage. Hey, 
Hey, hey, maybe you're right, Naomi. Oh, come here, baby. <laughs> hey, Ben, great, great table you got here. Well, this, this is an interesting place to see the winners. <laughs> Hi, Ben. <laughs> but, you know, on the upside, uh, we're the first ones out if there's a fire. <laughs> Plus, of course, it's a kitchen fire, and then uh, we're toast. <laughs> oh, you made it. Sorry I'm late, Ben. You look great. Well, thank you. So do you. It took me forever to park, but I ended up with a great space right out in front. Uh -huh. I'll be able to get out of here like that. <laughs> nice table. As you know, the Urban League has spent the last 88 years assisting African Americans to achieve social... I bet I know who's going to get the award. Equality. Jack Johnson. Every year, Jack Johnson. Look at him up front, eating his game hen so smugly. They only give it to him because he got that bullet in the butt in Korea. How many times I'm gonna have to listen to that story? Oh. <laughs> Alex, I don't remember this tux. Oh, picture it without the jacket, shirt, cummerbund, and pants. <laughs> oh, I remember this tie. Yeah. I was hoping we could talk later. Maybe we could find some time after the banquet. You're just gonna drag this thing out, huh? Is something bothering you? No, 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 you said you wanted to talk. Let's talk. Well, I was hoping that it could be in private. Well, there isn't anything you can't say here. I'm among friends. Well, Ben, I'm not sure this is the appropriate place. Kira, I assure you, I am not gonna make a scene. Now, you have something to say, say it. All right, fine. Last week when we made love, it was the most incredible sexual experience of my life. Happy? Well, yeah. But why have you been making all these excuses not to see me? Those aren't excuses, Ben. That's my life. I have a heavy work schedule. My nanny was sick and I have a schnauzer with pink eye. Besides, you canceled on me, too. I had to work. If I had known I was the most incredible sexual experience in your life, I could have juggled my schedule. That's what I was trying to tell you. I haven't stopped thinking about you all week. I couldn't stop thinking about you either. You have no idea how much I want you right now. Yes, I do. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I can't. Why not? I'm up for an award. At this table? <laughs> you have a point. Gotta stretch my leg. I'll give you a hand. Uh, I mean, I'll make a phone call. <laughs> the next 80 years will be as momentous. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if I left my keys in here. I'll help you look for them. <laughs> for the presentation of the Volunteer of the Year Award. Here we go. Let's get it over with. When I was in Korea, I had my back to the front line. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, stand and celebrate Mr. Carl Stevenson. <gasps> Did you just hear Carl's name? What? Never mind. 